So if you're in Mauritius and you're looking for a great place to stay, this episode could be for you because we're at Long Beach Hotel. So where are we? Well, we're located on the east coast of Mauritius, the very famous Belmar Beach. It's actually one of the longest beaches on this island. It's amazing. So we're approaching winter now, but as you can see, it's still pretty hot, pretty humid, and uh, it's actually a great time to come. I love this time of the year in Mauritius because that humidity has dropped slightly and you still have these wonderful days. Anyway, I want to show you around this hotel because it's absolutely spectacular. So Long Beach Hotel is a five-star hotel and uh, it really is an absolute treat. You've got to come and visit it. When you walk around, you'll see the gardens are beautifully manicured and it's got a nice modern touch when you enter the hotel with the fountains and the way it's uh, been architecturally designed. It really is stunning. I've been invited here with my family to review this hotel. But please note that all thoughts are my own. Oh, really? Very nice. Welcome to Long Beach, Madame Lucie Lurlex and family. So this is our living abode for the next couple of days, fitted with everything that one could need to feel comfortable. And the best part is that we're right on the beach. So our first activity is going to be this. Yep, we're going to give tennis a go, see how that goes. Okay, so I'm not quite Rafa Nadal. For someone like me who likes the great outdoors and doing lots of activities, this place has got tons to do. There's a sports center, a great gym with tennis courts, as well as swimming pool, and of course a normal gym with all the machines. I mean, how's this beach? Just the sheer length of it, you can go for really long, epic beach walks. For water sports lovers, it's just a short distance from the main hotel along the beach, where here you'll find the boathouse, where you can hire sups, you can go water skiing. We took out a pedalo, which was quite fun. I'm steering this ship, laddies. So when in doubt, go on a pedalo. Looks like we lost that one. Yeah, not that easy. A top tip for you is to take out a kayak into the middle of the bay near the reef and dip your head into the water. The snorkeling is pretty good. This is the life, so relaxing right here. We've given up waiting for the perfect wind. We're just going to take a chance with the Hobie cat. There we go, we got some wind, that's cool. So yeah, you're really spoilt for choice here with regards to activities. There really is so much to do. But the activities here are not only linked to sport. So warm welcome to the Beehive. While we were here, it was also National Bee Day. So we were treated to a tour of their beehives because they have five beehives here. They're very nature conservation oriented. So a lot of the honey they use in ingredients. So we were treated to this little bee talk where they made these natural honey bars. Mix, 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 mix with oats and chocolate and nuts and all sorts of things. So that was pretty cool. Great for the kids too, to learn about how important bees are for the environment. They also have a nature trail here with lots of endemic species. Particular interest to me was the ebony tree because of course Mauritius used to have lots of these trees and unfortunately we're down to only 2% left on the island, but wonderful to see them up close. 
Another great thing that they have here is a herb garden. You can see behind me. So they're growing lots of things like curry leaves and lemongrass and basil, parsley, your normal herbs that you would find in the kitchen. And of course, the great thing about that is then it's sustainable. We have also partnered with the local planters. We have the Climate Smart Agriculture, in which uh, we encourage the planters to use organic fertilizers. All of these things go a long way in ensuring a healthier planet. Another top tip for you is to get up early and head to the beach for a walk. So it's definitely worth waking up early just to see this sunrise. Absolutely fantastic. What I really liked as well about this hotel is that they are dog friendly. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the street dogs, they allow them to inhabit the beach. They don't shoo them away. And they have a program here where they sterilize them. Hi doggies. And if you stay here, you are eligible to foster the dog or give them a new home. So I really like that because I'm passionate about dogs. So it's nice when hotels get on board with this sort of initiative. Anyway, my tummy's rumbling. I think it's breakfast time and definitely coffee time. Now, if you like food, you will not be disappointed here. There are five different restaurants. The lunches are fabulous right down on the beach. But for me, it was the dinners that really shine through. We went to an Italian place and that was just fabulous. I had the best risotto I think I've ever had. And the pizza was fantastic as well as fantastic service and friendly staff. But I have to absolutely mention Hasu, which is a Japanese restaurant here. It is the sixth best restaurant in Africa and the number one uh, Japanese restaurant in Mauritius. And my goodness, the food was absolutely incredible. The best sushi I have ever had. So hats off to the head chef there. It is absolutely amazing. Chiche, what a dinner tonight at Asu. I suspect that it's going to be the best dinners that I've ever had. As evening falls, the piazza comes to life, showcasing local music, food, art, and even a bit of rum. Now, you can't come to Mauritius or a hotel like this and, of course, not have a cocktail. So I met up with the mixologist, Jack. So what are you going to show us today? Uh, I'm going to make a special cocktail for you, uh, which is uh, non-alcoholic. So first, I'm going to use the base, which is the lemon gross. Then he adds some pineapple juice, bergamot juice and almond syrup. Double strain. I'm just gonna garnish it with some dehydrated uh, lime or lemon. To further add an orange depth to the flavor, the cocktail is then smoked. Yeah, so you ready? Yep, show us the magic. And there we go. Wow, look at that. And then the final touch is to add some homemade rose bitters on top. Wow, that's really good. While you're near the Sante Bar, do check out the spa where a large array of treatments are available. It's even this rather lovely mangrove section behind me. And of course, mangroves are very important in Mauritius and the world for protecting the coasts. Isn't it lovely? So I have to say, Long Beach is officially my favorite hotel on the island. A wonderful location, loads of facilities, including its two beautiful swimming pools, one of which is an adults only pool. And of course, let's not forget the food. I will definitely be back. So I really enjoyed my stay and I just want to thank everyone who went out of their way to make us feel so welcome and uh, who just made this stay exceptional. So thank you very much.
So that's it from me for this week. I've thoroughly enjoyed my stay at this hotel and I highly recommend it. If you do enjoy this content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, you can buy me a coffee as well if you want to support the channel. Anyway, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.